Hello campers, welcome to day seven. We are now moving to a different what is my word that I'm thinking of? Operation. All right. We are moving on to a different operation. We have been practicing so hard for the last six days with multiplication. We are now moving to division. Today's question reads, there are 39 students in the spelling bee. In the first round, the students need to be in three equal groups. How many students will be in each group? All right, let's get started. We have standard algorithm that we will be completing. We have the window pane that we, we will be using. We also have a strategy called Big 7 that I know you all are familiar with. And we have Multiply Up, which may be a new strategy that I hope you all will learn to like and use. It's one of my favorites when it comes to division. So let's start with this problem. And we're going to use standard algorithm. 39. And we are going to divide that by 3. We know that 3 is our divisor. The smaller number in our dividend is n. And that is our 39. All right. So we are going to think about this. And we're going to say, can 3 go into 3? That is kind of what you all say. Is 3 divisible by 3? So, in, in basically, in essence, you're saying 3 times what can give me 3, if you want to think about it that way as well. And I know that that answer is 1. 3 can go into 3 one time, or 3 times 1 is 3. So, I'm going to put my 1 here, and I'm going to subtract that out. 3. 3 minus 3. I have a 0 here, and I'm going to bring down my 9. I now ask myself, 3 times what can give me to 9? Or how many times can 3 go into 9? I know if I skip count by 3s and I go up 3 times, I will get 9. So therefore, this is 3. And I know that 3 times 3 is 9. I subtract that out and I get 0. Therefore, my quotient is here. There must be... 13 students in each group. Okay, let's try this with the window pane. We're going to use our divisor, which is 3. And we are going to start in a box with the number 39, which is our dividend. Okay, and we are going to think to ourselves, hmm, three times what can get me really, really close to 39? Or again, three can go into 39 how many times if you want to think about it like that? Well, we can skip count by threes. Maybe let's say three times 12. Right? We typically go up to 12. So I know that 3 times 12, hmm, 3 times 12 will give me 36. So I'm going to put a 12 right here, and I'm going to put 36 right here. All right? And we're going to subtract those out. 39, subtract 36. Hmm, 9 minus 6 is 3, and then my 3s cancel out. So I'm going to start a new box because I see I have a number here and I'm looking for a zero or a number less than my divisor. So I'm going to take that three up. Okay. Now I'm going to say three can go into three. We know one time. So I'm going to put my one here and I'm going to put my three here and I'm going to subtract these out. 3 minus 3 is 0. Well, I'm already at 0. 
That means I am finished making boxes. I do not need to make another box. To get my quotient, I add the numbers up top. 12 plus one, it equals 13. Therefore, there must be 13 students in each group. All right, we're gonna come down and take a look at our big seven. I know you all are familiar with this strategy. It's kind of similar to our standard algorithm. So we're gonna take our three and we're gonna make a big seven. Okay. And we put our dividend here. Now for the big seven, we ask ourselves the same question. Hmm, what number can go into 39? What's the greatest factor I can think of? Hmm, I know 12. Three times 12 is 36. So I'm going to write 36 right here, and I'm going to put my 12 on the outside here. Because 3 times 12 gets me 36. I'm going to subtract that, and I'm going to end up with a 3. Okay, so now I'm going to ask myself, 3 can go into 3, hmm, one time. So I'm going to put my 3 here. I subtract it out, and I get 0. Therefore, my quotient, my quotient will be 13. 39 divided by 3 is 13 because I can add these numbers up to get that. All right, lastly, our multiply up strategy. For multiply up, we're going to start with our divisor, which is 3. And we're going to try to get as close as we can to 39. Okay, so we set it up by starting with the divisor. And we say three times, hmm, what number, three times what number can get me really, really close to 39? And I know it's three times 12, and I know that that equals 36. Notice how I made a rectangle here. We're going to do something with this in just a moment. So I'm almost at 39. I know that I am three away. So I'm gonna start with my divisor again and I'm gonna write three. And I'm gonna say times one equals, well, three. When I put these two together, I see that I have reached my 39. To get my answer, I'm going to add the numbers in the box, which is the other factor from my divisor. So if I have 12 and one, I know that my answer is 13. 13 students are needed in the group. This is my answer. Okay. All right, we are going to go to the next question. Our next question reads, Jill is putting pictures in a journal for a school project. She has 52 small pictures and wants to put the same number of photos on each of the four pages. How many pictures will be on each page? So we are going to start again with our standard algorithm. We have 52 and the number four. We are going to start with our smaller number, which is four. And we are going to place our dividend, which is 52. We ask ourselves, four can go into five, hmm, one time. Four times one is four. We're gonna subtract that out. 5 minus 4 is 1. We're going to bring down our 2 because we know 4 can't go into 1. Now we say 4 can go into 12. How many times? Well, if I skip count, I know that that is 3. 
four times three is 12. If I subtract that out, I get a zero. Therefore, my quotient is 13. Four pages with 13 pictures on each page. Okay. Let's try our window pane. We're gonna start with four. And we are going to make our box with our number of 52. And remember, we're gonna say four times what can give me as close to 52. And I know that four times 12 is 48. So I'm going to write my 48. And I'm going to put my 12. Next, I am going to subtract this, 52 minus 48. I know that if I count up 48 plus two, that would get me 50 plus two more, that gets me 52. That must be four. Technically, some of you all would say you can't do that, so you have to cross out and you will make that a 4 and you will make that a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. I'm going to make a new box. And I'm going to take that 4 up into the box. And I'm going to say 4 times what will get me as close to 4 as possible. Hmm, I know that four times, hmm, four times one. Four times one equals four. I'm going to subtract that out. I get zero. I know that once I reach zero or a number less than my divisor, I do not need to make another box. When I add my 12 plus 1, I get 13 as my quotient. Moving on to our next strategy, it's going to be Big 7. For Big 7, we have our 4, and we are going to divide that by 52. Again, I'm gonna say four times what can give me as close as possible to 52. I know that four times 12 is 48. So I'm going to write my 48 here and put my factor 12 here. I'm going to subtract that out. And again, we know that we cannot take two from eight, so we go to our tens place, we borrow the five becomes a four, the 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 2 is 4. Now we say 4 can go into 4 how many times? Well, I know that is 1, so I'm going to subtract 4 away from that. And that becomes a 0. I'm now at 0. I must be finished. I come over to the side and I add my factors. 12 plus 1 and it equals 13. My quotient is 13. The last strategy, multiply up. We're gonna start with my divisor and I am going to say four times what can give me as close to 52 as possible. Again, I know that I learned my multiplication tables up to 12, so four times 12 is 48. I'm not quite at 52, so I must start again with my divisor, which is four. 
times what that can give me is close to 52. I'm already at 48. I know that I can do four times one and that will get me four. I'm gonna add these two together to see if I'm at 52 yet. I know that eight plus four is 12. Put my two in the ones place, carry my one over to the tens place. That's 110 plus four tens, that's 52. That's the number that I was trying to arrive at. To get my quotient, I add the factors that I multiplied from my original divisor, 12 plus one, and it gets me my answer, which is 13. Therefore, my answer is 13 pictures will be on each page. All right, campers, I hope you have enjoyed our day seven. Don't forget to complete your two independent problems and be sure to check in for your one-on-one -on -one time. See you all later. Goodbye.